You are just starting out on the Sea of Thieves. You've seen the pictures of pirates dressed to impress with boats and weapons that can be both intimidating and beautiful. You would like to start the game with a little bit of treasure so you can buy new clothes and you don't want to spend real life money to get in-game currency. So what is it that you do? The Maiden Voyage. Not only does it give you the chance to learn the basics of the game, you also earn commendations, gain plunder pass reputation, and there's a secret vault. Completing this should allow you to do some basic customization of your pirate, and while you don't need to do everything in the video to get the extra gold, it is nice to come out knowing the basics of the game and having some rep under your belt, as well as coming out with some other customization options. So let's get started. You wake up in the sand of Old Sailor Isle and are immediately greeted by the ghost of the Pirate Lord. Run through the dialogue, follow his directions for now, as each step will bring you closer to becoming a pirate. Basically, you get all the cool pirate gear. After you open the chest and you get your pirate essentials, but before jumping on the boat and sailing away, this is where you have a chance to explore the island and get a bit of questing done. We'll start with finding the 10 Pirate Lord journals. First, you're gonna go back to where the Pirate Lord was, pull out your compass, head west-northwest, and run back to where you dug up your pirate gear. Just east of where you found your gear is a shipwreck, and in front of the door is the first journal regarding mermaids. Read the journal or skip it, whichever you prefer, then head back up to the Pirate Lord. Once you're back at him, face south and head back up the trail where you started. As you run past the campfire, you'll see a waterfall to the southwest. Walk through there, and to the back of the cavern, you'll find the second journal, the Sea of the Damned. Okay back out to the main trail. Again, facing south, you will come up to the trail to the broken ship. This is the Magpie's Fortune. Head west to the steps. Once you get into the ship, there will be a ladder. Turn left, go all the way around in a circle like I did, and continue to the wheel. Just to the right of the wheel is the third journal. They gave it a name. From here, you'll see two masts, one in front and one behind you. Climb to the top of the one behind you using the ladder, and at the top of the crow's nest, you will find the fourth journal, Lost Secret. All right, slide back down the mast. Don't fall, it hurts real bad. Head south and hop down to the bridge that connects the two halves of the ship. After crossing the bridge, immediately turn left and by the busted barrels is the fifth journal. So near and yet. All right, guys, we're halfway through the journals and you are about to get the money that you have been promised. All right, next you'll need a key. Go up to the top deck where you are and there's a busted mast leading over to a small island. Pretend you're a gymnast and balance beam across this thing. Hop down in the pond to your right and at the very bottom will be the Old Sailor's Key. From here, you can walk around the island, go back across the busted mast, or kind of do like I do here, and jump off this waterfall. Once you're down at the waterfall, go across over to the vault that is to the west, and open it up. As you can see when I get down here, I have already looted this place. Grab your money and your doubloons, but don't forget the sixth journal that is off near the chest of the glowy mushrooms immediately to the left from when you drop down in here. After reading my secret plans, head back up to the top. Turning right after getting out of the vault and go under the bridge and you will see a small path cut into the rocks. Turn left after exiting the little cave and head to the bridge. Do not cross it though. Turn right near the bottom of the trees overlooking the cliff, you'll see a very tippy top of a ladder. Go down that and while facing the bottom of the ladder, turn left and you will find on the ground the seventh journal, Lord of Seas. All right, go back up the ladder and we are going to cross the bridge. Follow the path all the way to the top of the mountainside. You'll have to jump on some rocks once you get up to the top, but once you do, you'll see a little picnic-like area and on the ground is the eighth journal, Painting from the Past. And now a quick dancing break to let you know to hit that sub and give us a like to help us out and come see some more awesome pirate videos in the future down the path to the door you pass before coming inside the cave area near the door there will be on the left is a lever that you can pull this opens the door and once inside you see a small campfire to the left of the campfire on the ground is the ninth journal appropriately named making camp turning right there will be a path that leads down to a cap stain that's the thing you use to raise an anchor on the boat turning this lowers a bridge and you need to cross follow that path down to a door that is shut and blocking your way Turn to the left of that door and use the pulley there to open it and then go through. Oh look, a rowboat. Guys, don't get distracted, we have one more journal to get. Make a quick left turn, you'll see an alcove in the cave with a ladder and an iron fence at the top. 
Go in, climb up, and at the top you will find the last journal, a ship that fits. At this point, you've found all the journals, completed two combinations. If you sail away, you'll have a third. But wait, you can flex now, or you can get the rest of the combinations real quick. Go back, jump in the rowboat, row around. I decided to take mine all the way around to the ship, and just go ahead and dock it onto the back. Next, you'll want to go back to the island, find a chicken, kill it, run back to the campfire that you started at, put it in the pan, and cook it up. Next, you'll want to go up and fire the cannon that's at the top of the left side of the magpie's fortune. Um, you could use cannonballs that are found in the things. I decided to have a little bit more fun and shoot myself out of the cannon at that mountain over there. Now, you can always run back down the path that you originally came up to, but I decided to run up here and sword dash off to be more dramatic and daring. By the way guys, don't forget to catch that fish before you hop off this island. Now all you have to do is go to your boat, fix it up with some wood, and drop them sails and sail off into the Sea of Thieves. At this point, you should have collected 25,000 gold, 200 doubloons, and you can use those things to customize your pirate as well as the magpie's fortune sails and the pirate lord's jacket. Welcome guys to the Sea of Thieves. Congratulations, you have now completed all the commendations on the maiden voyage, collected some money, and now you're ready to get to the shops and start customizing so you won't look like a noob pirate. Head on over to the tool shop. You can upgrade instruments and different tools here with a little bit of the money that you got. Then you can go over to the weapons. Pick the weapons skins that you like the best. Head back over to clothing and make that pirate look fierce or fantastic. Either way, you can have some fun here. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys and you'll drop a sub and a like to help us out on our channel. We appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us, and as always, we'll see you next time on House of Jacobs Gaming.